When we're out on the lake, sometimes we experience things we don't understand. For example, here we see bubbles that are likely part of the natural decay of organic materials, releasing gases like methane and carbon dioxide. Today, I'll show you a phenomena that I had never experienced before at Lake Powell, which happened recently at the end of the lake in Navajo Canyon. Now let's cue up the dramatic music as I explain what happened, as well as the possible explanation from scientists that were kind enough to reply back to me. At first glance, we thought this was just going to be regular bubbling like you saw at the beginning of this video, but that clearly wasn't the case given the size and strength of whatever this was, and the volume of muddy water that was taking over the surface. The stakes got a bit higher when we thought what we saw was an animal was actually a log being pulled through the water and down the lake. And of course at this point we decided surfing was off the table. Within a few minutes much of the water around us had turned from relatively clear to murky and muddy. The depth gauge was also acting strange, it was reading nearly 150 feet in an area that should be less than 20. Around us, there were more bubbles coming to the surface, a lot more. What really caught our attention was that this thing was moving. We had been staring at it, trying to figure out what was going on for about 20 or 30 minutes. Then we realized it had moved down the canyon about a mile. When we moved back down the lake and got around the corner, we noticed that there was a differentiation between the normal lake and whatever this thing was. And here it's roughly about 70 feet deep, despite looking like it could be a sandbar. Here's when we started to notice a pattern. While we were in the now murkier water, ahead of us, there would be a group of bubbles that would form that were clear. The bubbles would then grow in size and then suddenly become murky and muddy. And for lack of a better word, the upstream murkiness would then connect with that newly formed pocket of murkiness. In this way, it moved down the lake. We had some thoughts of what this could be, ranging from remnants of Hurricane Priscilla causing flash floods, carbon dioxide pockets like those at Mammoth Lakes, and my personal favorite, the Lake Powell Monster. When we got back to the houseboat, I solicited advice from social media and emailed a few scientists. These guys ended up being pretty cool and I've added their names to the description of this video. Although they can't say with certainty what happened, the majority suggested it might be what is known as a turbidity current. Here's what those look like in a lab setting. A scientific description is as follows. Turbidity currents belong to the larger family of density currents with the presence of sediment held in suspension by fluid turbulence. A particular feature of turbidity currents is that the weight of the suspended particles drives the water flow instead of the water driving the sediment particles. Now, given I am not a scientist and this is social media where I can take more creative liberties, another way of saying this is that what might have been happening on the sloping lake bed was an underwater avalanche of sediment and debris. This could explain why there is so much bubbling as that debris flow churns up and releases all of that organic activity. This was a really cool event to see and learn more about, even if it was a little freaky. And again, I thank those scientists that reached back out to me to explain what might be happening. It is wild to see such a dynamic environment in action firsthand, as well as imagine what I cannot see or have yet to learn about.